This addresses a common problem at both ends of the fighting spectrum. Okay. Um, a lot of newer fighters um, are afraid to throw a lot of shots because their their required target zone is like this gigantic six foot gap that they need, or six inch gap that they need to be able to, to actually have access to anything. Okay. Um, so there's yeah a lot of a lot of newer fighters they don't want to throw a lot of shots because they don't have the, the target zone is it's like big enough and they're just thinking well there's no way I can do that right. Um, Likewise, at the more advanced stage where you, where you get somebody who's doing a lot of a lot of combos, um, um, this drill and basically the, the the frequency of shots for this drill, it's the two second drill. Okay, the frequency of shots is you're going to throw one shot at least once every two seconds, but not more than twice in one second. Does that make sense? At least once every two seconds, but not more than twice in one second. <coughs> the beginning, beginning stages of fighting that allows you to fire and recover, fire and recover, without being as concerned about the quality of the target that you're throwing. Okay. Um, and at the veteran stages of fighting, it forces you to kind of pull back a little bit, so you're not just trying to throw those combinations. So you can fire, you can fire that shot, complete the recovery, and pick a target. Fire at, that, fire at the next one again. Okay. So that's the, and, and this is primarily an offensive drill. Um, and, 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 you know, whenever you're doing drills, you've got the trainee and the trainer, right? The, the trainee is the person who's exercising the, the part of the technique that is, that is being developed. Okay. And in this case, the, the part that we're, we're doing is, is you know, uh, target recognition and you know, being able to, like I said, those, those two portions of it. Fire more frequently on one end and fire less frequently uh, for the other. Okay. A nice byproduct of this particular drill is the trainer who is doing the defensive portion of this also has an opportunity to work on low recognition and what's coming at you. Okay. So we're going to be doing this without any armor on, so it's going to you know, be kind of blocking and going to be kind of a little, a little more forgiving. It's not like you know, uh, we're going to be blasting each other without the, without the armor on. Um, but it still allows us that opportunity to actually make targets and keep the recovery. Okay. Um, one of the things that I'm talk I always talk about for low recognition and how to identify what is coming at you is uh, to catalog shots as they come in at you. Basically, just break it down into up, down, left, right. That's all it is. And when something comes in at you, it's in the upper left, upper left, you know, what have you. So on the defensive side for the tra trainer, um, you're going to be just cataloging those shots. So it's up to the guy that's, that's throwing the blows to, to remember how many blows he's thrown. Okay. So it's going to be, the, the trainee is going to throw 10 shots um, at that frequency. Yes? Did you say that you're going to throw the zone blocking rather than shot blocking? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, uh, ultimately, um, every shot that comes in at you can be categorized by up, down, left, right. There really aren't that much, that many variables. I mean, really, if something's coming at, if something's coming flat snap, does it really matter if it's this flat snap or this flat snap? I mean, what you do to account for that is, is pretty much the same thing. And once you isolate it in one of those four quadrants, and basically you split your body across the kill zone at the, at the stomach and the hips, and then straight down the center line. Okay. And so as things are, are coming at you, it is, it really is enough to identify it to one of those four quadrants. Once you get those quadrants, the, the, the defense is not drastically different um, once it's in one of those quadrants. That makes sense. And so as, the, as we're throwing these shots, again, it's happening it's just slow enough that we're going to be able to, you know, the trainer that is doing the defensive part of it is going to be able to, to have that time to, to catalog those shots and just say, oh, you know, yeah, that's right. The, the, the whole point of doing that, cataloging them as they come in, is, you know, if you you see a flat snap coming in at you, and you think, okay, that was upper left. What was the last thing that I saw before I got hit with, you know, in the upper left quadrant there? And you get a, you get a, a snapshot, and you get kind of this sight picture of what happened just right before that. And then you can say, okay, I recognize it at that point, so what was, what was the last thing I saw right before that? And as you kind of continue to take those little snapshots and get that sight picture, you kind of track it back to its point of origin, 
got to get an idea. So as it's coming off the shoulder, you'll have a better idea of the possibilities and where the where it's most likely to be going. There's no absolutes in our sport, of course, but you know there's you know there's, there's a pretty good probability. It's generally, as as something is coming at you with, with low recognition, you are in most cases you will first be able to determine left or right, and then you'll be able to determine up and down. So as, as things are coming at you, that's just a matter of, of perception. The, the body mechanics for what we do are, are you know, just such, just different enough. So you'll be able to determine left and right and then up and down. So if I come in here, you, know, you see this, this motion here again. There's fakes, there's a number of things that we can do, but uh, I'll talk to you in that in a second. But, you know, generally, what, if you, whatever your first instinct is, that's usually right. You know, if I come out here like this, it looks like I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to the left side for you. You know, chances are very good that that's what it's going to be. And if you react based on on that, um, there's actually less chance of, of getting the thing out. And you know, and that kind of gets into you know, something else I talk about a lot. Uh, if you react offensively to what your opponent is doing. And in most cases, the defense that you need is going to be provided anyway. And if you react based on what you think you first see, um, then that'll, you know, you're reacting offensively based on that. Sure. Can you go through once you've done this drill, kind of how your target selection works? I guess, I mean, I You've isolated it to up, down, left, right. Um, a head wrap is not vastly different from from a flat snap. I mean, it, it's slightly different. Um, the, I mean, and but the mechanics, the mechanics for a head wrap are just different enough that you can, as you get more comfortable with the scene upper left, um, you'll be able to pick that quadrant first, and then make the the, the slight adjustment that you need cover for the fact that it's a wrap instead of a snack. But you know the, the initial the initial assessment on that level of recognition is that it's upper left. And then from there, you know, as it's, as it's coming in there you may make further adjustments. But it's not it's not fast enough. <coughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> right, so how many people who I have fought in this room, how many people have I hit right in the shoulder socket? <laughs> That's triggered. Okay? When I see this, when I see the hand go down and out, watch it, go ahead and push up. <clears throat> okay. When I see the hand go down and out, that's a sight picture that I get. And what happens is as I rotate this way, I'm covering that shot that he wants anyway. And this is coming down here, right in the shoulder something. So in. That's one of the triggers that I have. And that's based on that sight picture sort of thing. As soon as you see that sight picture, you're, you know, and that's one of those things that when I get that sight picture, I can't do anything else. It just, <laughs> it just triggers. It just, it just goes. You know, triggers are, you know, a pretty good, a pretty good thing to have, really. Um, as long as you can, as long as you can recover off of that. Because there are times when we get a trigger or, you know, we see something and, and there's a fine line between a trigger and firing for effect. I get a lot of people that think they know what I'm going to do and they get this, they get this plan. Actually, you got me in a straight. It worked out pretty well for you. Uh, <laughs> and on the way home, I like the effect was to 